think after a slowish start, it's doing pretty well. Uh, and the slowish start was partly because it wanted to try to keep things uh, open and keep things going. But it is now moving much faster. The testing that you've just been describing is, is, is probably one of the stickier points that hasn't moved as fast. But it has moved pretty fast on the social um, distancing. And has it seems to have got really quite a bit of public support behind it. And of course, it's moved pretty fast on the very ambitious economic measures essentially to keep paying the salaries or a large part of the salaries of a lot of the economy and to try and do something self-employed too. So on the big steps, it's done the first ones pretty fast, I think. But ultimately, uh, I know the crisis is, uh, is some way away, the end of the crisis at least is some way away, but ultimately won't it be judged on the uh, death count and the number of infections? And will there be questions asked about, about the strategy around ventilators and the speed with which some form of testing is developed? There are going to be all kinds of questions of, of every government in the end. And one of the extraordinary things about this is that every government in a way is being judged against every other government in the world because this is like a, they're all facing exactly the same threat and responding in really very different ways, some of them. So they're all judged against each other. Yes, it will be judged by the number of deaths uh, from coronavirus. Also, more subtly, and not what people are really looking at at the moment, by the number of deaths from other things that might not have happened if it hadn't been for all this. And in a, in a sense, though no one is doing a trade-off, uh, it will also be judged by the, the, the economic uh, response, what it's done to help the economy uh, hibernate, if you like, after this, and then come out quickly. So all those things, and yes, ventilators and testing will go into that. I think testing is, is the big one, because until you've got testing, any government is really try, it almost got an unmanageable situation. All they can manage is the medical response, trying to deal with severely increasing numbers of severely ill people as they turn up at the hospitals and, uh, and try, trying to do something about that. Once you've got a test, a particular test for who's had it, you begin to have something that you can manage as an exit from this.